So when I asked Dave where we're going, and he said, I'm gonna surprise you, he said, we're going to Paris. I'm like, that's awesome. I don't think Rosie's gonna like it on the plane, but we can try this. He says, oh no, no, I have another idea. So Dave, what was your idea? Paris, Tennessee. No plane required. Just a Jeep. <laughs> All right, we are here at the Paris Winery, and your name is? Diana. Diana, and Diana, Diana how long have you been here? We planted our grapevines between 2003 and 2008. We actually opened the retail front doors in 2008. Wow, and this is pretty amazing. So how many different kinds of wine do you have right now? Right now we've got 39 different varieties. 39 wines. And is there any, uh, a couple of the, the customers' favorites? Like, what are some favorites? Our Tower Reds are most popular. It's a sweet red wine. I'm out of them in stock, but they usually come in the Eiffel Tower shape bottle. Um, our Blackberry is a three-time gold medal award winner for us. Um, on the dry side, that bourbon barrel cab is pretty popular. Um, and dry Riesling. Alright, so you guys are on the Harvest Host list, which is awesome. So uh, when people come here, what should they expect? Like, where do they normally park? Well, we have a runway, which is a half a mile. Um, most folks choose to be out there because it's a little more secluded and isolated, but we sit on over 38 landscaped acres that folks are welcome to sort of pick a spot and just post up and enjoy. So Rosie and I are at the Paris, Tennessee Winery. It's really cool, it's a great place. They've got lots of options here and we're just hanging out on the uh, patio under these gorgeous uh, vines and we're loving the day. None for you, Rosie. Ooh, this looks awesome. All right, so Dave just brought these yummy treats. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, so we have Pinot Noir. We have Redneck Red. We have Watermelon Smash. We have a Dry Riesling. We have a Red Zen and a Cabernet. Awesome. All right, we're going to try these out. We're going to figure out which one is our favorite, right? Mm-hmm. All right, here we go. All right, mm -hmm. time for the smell test. Which one do you think? Try that one, see what you think. Hmm. Hmm. I know. I've already gone through some of these. All right, so I'm going to try cab first. Okay, so far I like that one. I'm gonna go really girly with the watermelon. Ooh, super, nice and super sweet. Woo. Um, let's try the dry racing. Not bad. All right, so out of all of these, and they are pretty yummy. There's a lot of really good ones for different reasons. The cab, um, they do have what is called a a redneck red. It's a little different. Um, everyone has their own personal taste when it comes to wine, but I really like the dry Riesling. I think it's really good. It's probably one of my favorites right now. And I think for something sweet and fun and refreshing for summer, they have a watermelon that is to die for. And they sell this actually in a mason jar. So welcome to Tennessee. All right, so for everybody out there, just as a public safety announcement, if you're gonna do wine tastings, which are awesome, Always make sure you know who is gonna be driving after the tasting and that they're the designated driver and they have plenty of non-alcoholic beverages, so they're safe. Yeah. I 
I think Rosie's becoming an old hat at vineyards here. She's used to going to these places. All right, so we've gone a bunch of places today, which is really cool. And uh, Dave, what do you think? What were some of your highlights? We have a multi-generational winery that we got to go to and a very interesting little park in the land between the lakes and the lovely little Paris, Tennessee. And we got our picture made with the, the Paris, Tennessee monument, the Eiffel Tower. And Rosie got to go play. She's back there. She's like totally in love with the looking at the animals outside of the window. She's like, oh, there are birds. I see them. 